my old intro. We are gonna check it out right now. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the Cause here we go. So let's talk about my intro because a lot of people seem to question that every single video. They're like, who misses the old intro? I love when you did the old intro. I didn't even have an intro a long time ago. I was just very cringy and just saying weird things before the video began. Everybody sit down, get comfortable, maybe lean back, get some popcorn. Cause I'm about to turn it all the way up and let's get this last night started. Let's do it. Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called Babysitter Bloodbath. It's exactly as horrible as it sounds. The same people who made Power Drill Massacre. So just take my hand and we'll be all. So without further ado, let's go into the world of Super Hot. So I think from 2015 to like somewhere in 2016, 2017, I had no real intro. I kind of just said whatever I wanted to say. And then I wanted to get people hyped up and I just wanted the intro to be a banger. So I eventually came up with the buckle up intro. I don't want to go over the history of the buckle up intro because that's not the point of this video. So I created the buckle up intro. It was the buckle the F up intro. And a lot of people liked it. You know, I don't really remember seeing people that didn't like it. But yeah, it was a different time when YouTube would let you cuss and let you do all these things and, you know, get away with just cussing and no, no consequences of it. So I was cool. I loved it. Everybody loved it. And it was just something that I could say right before every video to kind of just transition me from an intro to the game. And I used to have a manager at the time, a YouTube manager. I mean, I still do. I had a manager and I have somebody who works at YouTube who was directly contacting me and updating me on my channel. And they were like, hey, you know, you're doing great. You're killing it. Your channel's on the rise. This was like 2017, 2018 maybe. And they were just like, but there is something that we would like you to change. And I was like, what's that? And they said, we kind of want you to tone down on the cussing, specifically in the first minute of your video when you're trying to get everybody hyped up, you say the F word and we would like you to calm down with that because you know it'll help with advertisers and just YouTube in general would like to promote your videos if you didn't have that type of cussing in the beginning. And I was kind of like, fuck that. You know who you're talking to? I do whatever I want, say whatever I want. Man, you can kiss my balls. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not even gonna listen to that. I was hard headed, I told you. Like, I'm easy to talk to, I'm easy to work with. But when I have something that works for me, I kind of just keep it the way it is and I don't like to change it. Like I've had the same setup for a long time because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like I could definitely upgrade my monitors and all that stuff and maybe some equipment over here, but it's the way I like to do things. So I'm not a big fan of change. So when they told me that they wanted me to change my intro and just tone down on the cussing, I was like, are you serious? Like cussing is just natural to me. I'm not forcing the bad words to come out. It's just how I grew up. Like I grew up in that type of environment where the cussing kind of just is part of it. Like it doesn't mean anything to me. Like those words don't mean anything to me. So I kind of just did my thing, just kind of let my dick swing. And I was just cussing here, cussing there, boom, bow, 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 you know, like a fuck here and a shit there. And I was kind of like calling their bluff. I was like, you're not going to do shit if I don't stop cussing. So my YouTube guy contacted me again and he was like, hey, advertisers, they're really starting to crack down on like the cussing and they just want people to be more family friendly. And that's just a heads up. So like I said, I was super hard headed and I didn't want to change anything. I didn't want to change the cussing or the intro. So what ended up happening was YouTube actually did do what they say they were going to do. They started limiting the ads on my videos. So when you have a, a green check mark or a green money sign next to your video, that means there's going to be full ads. Like if you want to put an ad in the middle, if you want to put an ad at the end, if you want to put an ad in the beginning, then YouTube's like, all right, cool. We'll play an ad every once in a while when you want us to. So everything is good to go. But when it turns yellow, that means that the ads are going to be limited. Like they're like, eh, we'll play maybe an ad once every 10 views or 20 views. I have no idea how many views it is before an ad plays, but basically your revenue is not only going to get cut in half. I believe that they don't even promote your videos and they don't even show your content to your subscribers. And at the time, like the videos were doing really, really well. And the content was just going up and up. The subscribers were going up and up and I was on cloud nine. I loved everything. Like I was myself, the content was, you know, being heavily supported and watched by all of you. And then they start demonetizing video after video after video. I was like, damn, 
Like they really did that. They actually really did that. So I talked to my other manager who wasn't my YouTube manager and we're just having a conversation and they were like, you really got to change that intro or you just got to stop cussing in general because this is not good. Like the advertisers want what they want and they don't really give a shit if you want to cuss or not. Like you can cuss, but they're not going to promote like ads on, on your videos. So I had a big decision to make because I love doing what I do. And honestly, I would do this for free. I would make videos for free. I made videos for free the first couple years I started doing YouTube. And I was like, damn, what do I do? Like I'm putting so much time and effort into these videos all for some cuss words. And that's how my videos get demonetized. So what I was thinking like, do the cuss words outweigh just being able to support myself financially. Like I wasn't only supporting myself, I was supporting a lot of people that were in my circle, like people that were part of my team and I couldn't let them down. So I was like, all right, uh, let's think. Like, let's think. I can make a buckle up intro different, I guess, because it didn't make sense to just unnecessarily cuss and say the F word. So I kind of did like a little test. I did a little test with you all and I don't know if you all saw it. So let me see if I can pull up that video. There you go, it said a challenge you all thought I'd never do. It was three years ago, July 8th, 2018. Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another 60 seconds challenge video. And I'm not gonna tell you guys what this challenge is in today's episode because I wanna do a challenge with you guys. I want you to figure out what this challenge is as you're watching the video. I'm not gonna make it super obvious, but believe me, it's gonna be a challenge for me as well because I've never done a challenge like this, guys. So no more talking, we're just gonna jump right into it. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go. That was the first time I ever did the, if you guys are cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go. That was the first official video I have ever done that. Look farther back than July 8th, 2018, you will not find me doing that intro because that was the test. I wanted to see how you all reacted to it because a lot of people knew me as like the person who says a lot of like outlandish things, the, the cussing YouTuber, the loud YouTuber, and that's just who I was. Like I wasn't doing those things on purpose. So for me to change and not cuss, it would have been pretty obvious for people who watch the channel for a while. So I kind of just wanted to sprinkle a little bit of no swearing and I wanted to see how people reacted to it and everybody kind of took it well, but some people said that it didn't suit me. They caught on to me not cussing and stuff, but I actually did enjoy the buckle up intro that way. So I will say like wholeheartedly, I would never choose the buckle the F up intro over this intro because I actually like the way this one sounds. The intro that I do right now, I actually really enjoy that intro. And the old one, I mean, I just felt like I was kind of cussing for no reason. And you guys see the videos nowadays. I cuss a lot more now because YouTube is kind of being a little bit more loose with their like restrictions or whatever. 2018, 2019 was a really rough time in terms of cussing. Like they really wanted people to be family friendly. They were trying to drill that shit into my skull and be like family friendly or you're not gonna get any exposure from your videos. So yeah, YouTube contacted me directly. The guy was like, hey, you know, you gotta stop cussing. You gotta change your intro. You gotta just be family friendly. Like you gotta be like on TV where they're not cussing and they're not saying like the F word or they're not talking about balls dragging across the floor, like shit like that. So yeah, when they told me that, I was kind of trying to call their bluff and it's like a domino effect because once you do that, like I said, it limits your exposure and they don't promote videos that have limited ads or are demonetized because yeah, there's no point for YouTube to promote videos that they're not gonna get money for. So everything is just a big money game in the YouTube world. And that's the reason why I had to change my intro because I had to choose, like I said, between being able to just keep growing my channel and you know making money from the videos or just keep doing what I do, not growing anymore, not making money for it, all for some cussing. So I had to pick and choose the cussing when it happened. Like I didn't have to pick and choose, but I could pick and choose what I say in my intro because it's something that I say consistently and constantly in every single video. But if I just happen to say fuck shit titty sprinkle in a video, then I'm just gonna let it fly because that's just off the top of my head. But if I'm gonna say buckle the F up every single video, that doesn't make sense to me because I'm just forcing a cuss word out there 
for no reason. So a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what happened to the old intro? Why did I change it? Um, is it because YouTube punished me? And honestly, it was. YouTube really just tied my hands and was like, you're going to do it our way or we're going to take action. And they did. They did. Once they started limiting the ads, like I said, July 8th, 2018, I tried a little test with everybody and I did a no cussing challenge in 60 seconds. And you guys could read the comments in that video. I think a lot of people, let me see. I wonder if a lot of people said something about it. Yeah, like this person said, Jay hasn't cursed in the first five minutes. Me. My spider senses are tingling. Something's wrong. Yeah, so see, people caught on right away. So yeah, um, that's the story of what happened with my intro and why I had to change it. I love my intro now. I love everything about it because it just gets me hyped up and it gets me ready to record whatever I'm about to record. And most of the people love it. And a lot of people always say, oh, you know, I missed the old intro. I barely had that intro. I think it's just, um, what's it called? Is it a Mandela effect? No, it's not a Mandela effect. What's it called? Like it was short lived, but a lot of people seem to think that it went on longer than it actually did. Because from 2014 to somewhere in 2016, I didn't have that intro. Like, look at this intro right here. This is February 10, 2016. Look at this cringe. Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game I've been waiting to play for a very long time. It's called Firewatch. If you guys don't know what this game is about, don't worry, you're not alone. I don't know shit about this game, but we're gonna figure that out right now. So everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy, because here comes Firewatch. Everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy, because here comes some Firewatch, baby. Okay, so I'm in May 4th, 2017, and I haven't even done the buckle the F up intro yet. So I feel like somewhere between 2017 and 2018, that's when I had that buckle the F up intro. So yeah, like I said, it was short-lived. I've had this intro that I have now longer than I had the other intro. So a lot of people seem to think that I probably had it for a long time, but I was kind of just like stumbling and finding my way through intros from 2014 to 2017, just saying whatever I wanted to say. But yeah, I really love that I found an intro that a lot of people enjoy because it gets me hyped up. And from the comments, every single video gets you all hyped up. And yeah, that's the story about the buckle up intro. That's the history of it. That's the story of it. Um, I was always trying to think of a cool creative intro. I know I said this a long time ago, but I remember Corey's welcome intro, you know, where he spun his face cam and just had all those colors. I was like, that is so dope. Like that is so dope, it gets me so hyped. I wish I could get people that hyped. So I wanted people to get hyped up with the intro and that's how I came up with the buckle up intro because Corey's my guy and he always inspires me. So yeah, if anybody wants me to talk about anything else on the channel, any story time videos because you all seem to enjoy the last one, let me know down below in the comments below what you want me to talk about in the next story time video. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!